Hey guys, so how you doing? How's it been since yesterday? Whatever. So, we're not doing this hairstyle again. We're gonna be doing a fishtail braid. No, not fishtail. Fr French braid. And I'm gonna do the French braid the way I know it. If you do your French braids differently than mine, Make sure to comment down below how you do it. And then I'll see, maybe I'll do it your way next time. But first, I'm going to take out all this hair, brush it, and then I'll be back. So I'll brush the hair, and then I'll be back. So, okay, that was a good 10 minutes of brushing out all the knots from her hair and so I know everyone there's their braids differently so if you do it differently make sure to comment down below how you do your hair or your French braid step by step and yeah so what we're gonna do so now let's just get straight to it which I'll just stand up for this part Ugh. So you, I'm gonna brush everything to the back, and we're not gonna do the outie. We're gonna do the in. The inny part me is um just normal braid. How you do the normal braid, not the way we did yesterday, but the normal way. So I'll be right back because I'm gonna get a different brush so I can part out where I want to start. So I'll be right back. Okay. So I went upstairs and got a different brush. So see the difference with this side and this side? I can't part anything with this with this one. Cat, stop. I have a cat right there. And she is annoying because of the rain. Okay, so I'm going to part the hair where I want it to start. is totally where I want to start and I'm gonna just brush it out just in case an extra time doesn't hurt and it's obvious that when you part someone's hair it's gonna have knots for the rest of the thing I think I'm gonna be standing so you won't see my face but you'll hear me talking Actually, you know what? I'm gonna take this table. Move the table a bit. Okay. So basically what you're gonna do is split it into three parts again. So you have one, two, and three. And then you're going to Start braiding like a normal braid. A few times is fine. Doesn't have to be a lot. Because okay. So you're gonna do this a couple times. I'm gonna do it one more time on each side. Okay. Now that's fine. Then it has the same steps just like yesterday. So you're gonna take this part, put it towards the center. And then, you're going to take another piece of the hair, connect it to this one, connect it to the one that you're going to be putting it with in the middle, put it like that, and then, I'm going to show you a few more times. Then you take this part, put it here. You're gonna part out a different piece from the other side. And 
that. Take that and put it like there. And then you're gonna repeat that until the end. So I'm gonna show you guys a few more times. Cause I don't think you can see it. So basically, you're gonna continue parting out the pieces of the hair that you want to go into the braid. And you're basically going to basically going to repeat that same the same step over and over again I'm gonna repeat the same steps just like I said earlier I'm going to repeat them and repeat them and repeat them until you get all the way to the end just like yesterday. Okay, so I made it all the way to the bottom. This braid is kind of weird today. I don't know why, but okay. So basically what we're gonna do next is just continue on the braid like so. And I'm sorry if you don't like how this one turned out. It's just my hands are a bit shaky today. And so basically you continue on the braid you would normally do one so like this and then you continue on to do it continue doing this till we get all the way to the end so once we get to the end I will tell you what we will be doing Okay, so I'm almost at the end of the braid. I'm going to braid her hair until the end end. Okay, so basically we're almost at the bottom because we're actually have to go. We're actually going to the end of the hair all the way to the tippy point. And one of the pieces are ending soon. So now we're just gonna take the hair tie, take it like that. Actually, no, now we have to do it a little higher because it got kind of got messed up. So now we just have to finish it off like so. gonna finish it off like right now I just have to tie this on tight and then if you ever feel like it you can always bobby pin it to the um what's it called to the top or so this is one side of the ending braid goes all the way to the bottom goes all the way to the bottom and this side you'll see my cat in a few seconds there's my cat okay camera focus focus I can't get through the chair okay then here is the other side of the braid well, this is the same thing. My cat loves <laughs> playing with it. Look. Oop. She even likes to chase her own tail sometimes. So, that was that. Now, let me just show you what she looks like from the front. That's what it looks like from the front. What? Did you guys just see that? Look at that. She's playing with it. 
Okay, no more, no more. No playing, no, no playing. Fixing the camera angle is terrible. Okay. So, that was the ending of doing the French braid the way I do it. And so, I hope you liked this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And also remember to comment down below what type of family we should be. And yeah. Um, please share this video as much as possible, as I said earlier in a lot of other videos before. Um, subscribe. Tell all your friends to subscribe. Make sure to keep this community going. And if you've made it this far, comment on pizza letter by letter so we can confuse people. And yeah. We both hope you like this video. Please Please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe.